it's your girl Shalay and I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how parents can receive an additional $1,000 to $3,000 for their children because of the pandemic's effect on their learning. Now guys, I covered this topic before, but a lot of people still have not applied for this free funding. And when I tell you, you can use this money to buy things like school supplies, tutoring, after school activities. I mean, if you would like to get an additional $1,000 per child, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girls got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, Hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay and here on this channel we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like, especially if you love me bringing this content to you guys because I absolutely enjoy doing this. Now, if you do not have Amazon Prime, Guys, you have to try it out. I mean, it's free for 30 days. All you have to do is click the link above or below in the description box and you end up like swimwear, okay? Now, it seems like this week's focus is about education and schools because yesterday we discussed earning money for driving your kids to school and now today we are talking about applying for grants to address the learning loss. So due to the pandemic, a lot of students were not doing well on standardized tests and they have fallen behind on their learning. And we know how it goes, right? Schools that don't meet certain or specific scores, they just don't get funding from the state. But the government is giving out extra funding to help students catch up on that learning and even offer tutoring for those who need it. So some states are offering this extra money and it can be used for educational related expenses like dance, football, after school activities, um, supplies, but you can get anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000 depending on your state. Now, here are the states that are providing this benefit. First, we are headed to Kansas where they are giving out $1,000 for school supplies, tutoring, and expenses. Now, this is the Kansas KEEP program. This is a statewide program that will help Kansas children with $1,000 grants for back to school supplies and any other education expense, but not enough families know about this program as of yet. So this is why I need you guys to kind of share the video, tell a friend to tell a friend, right? So since February, the Kansas Education Enrichment Program or KEEP in partnership with Merit International has distributed 1,000 awards to over 12,000 children across the state to use for the learning loss recovery and other effects of the pandemic on education. But guys, when I tell you families haven't taken advantage, they haven't taken advantage because a lot of people think that the process is hard. But it's not. It is not a hard process at all. Once families know about the program, they're really interested, Adam said. But we also know that families are busy and they might not know that this is a great resource for the students in their houses, but it might be complicated or they still have to fill out a lot of paperwork. So they've done things in partnership with the Office of Recovery just to make this a very easy, seamless application process. So guys, they're trying to put the money in your pocket, okay? They're trying to give you the money, okay? Show me the money. Now, this $1,000 Keep Learning grant, this full $1,000 grant, $1,000 grant is awarded and eligible to children ages 5 through 18 enrolled in kindergarten through 12th grade and from households with eligible income levels. So, to be eligible for the program, children originally had to be from Kansas family households with incomes at or less than 185% of the federal poverty level. But then... Since no one was really applying, the program was later expanded to include families with household incomes at or less than 300% of the federal poverty level. So like children in foster care, they are eligible for the grant regardless of their household income, um, students with disabilities, and even up to the age of 21, they can receive this $1,000 grant as well as well as students that are 18 or older and if they're still enrolled in high school, they can get this grant as well. If you got five students in your household, 
that are eligible, that is $5,000 that you get. Like, I don't know any other way to tell you to apply for this money. Like, once approved, families can use this $1,000 keep grant on a variety of learning loss goods, supplies, services that are available on the approved platform on Merit's online site as well. Now, guys, when I tell you, these grants can be used for academic or instructional camps, um, language classes, musical instruments, school supplies. They do have where you can only get a single large tech item, and that can be like a tablet, a laptop, or a desktop worth more than $200. So you can even get a free computer here. Um, physical goods such as school supplies can be only approved and purchased from the pre-approved vendors that's on the marketplace. So there are no fees to apply for this grant or even use the grant as well. All you have to do if you are a parent or guardian is go to keep.ks.gov, submit the online application. The website and application materials are available in Spanish. And parents, you will need to provide like some type of documentation to prove that you are like a Kansas resident. I mean, you could do that easily, right? Like a driver's license, vehicle registration, utility bill, bank statement, lease agreement, find something, okay? Dig it out your junk drawer and find something as well to prove that you are there, that you are a resident. But any of my WIC, 10F, SNAP, you automatically qualify for this program, okay? So apply. All right, next we are headed to Indiana where they are expanding their tutoring grant as well for students and increase the maximum state funding. So I talked about Indiana in the last video. This launch last fall that was only supposed to cover, I wanna say like fourth grade students at the time, but now they have changed it where it will cover middle school as well as more elementary school students as well. So in addition, their grant award for Indiana Learns which provide grants to students to use for tutoring, um, academic programs that meet the learning partner requirements as well. They have now increased their amount to $1,000, which I think last year was $500. So this new maximum award is $1,000 is available to students who are new to the program and those who signed up earlier. So if you signed up last year, come on back because we got some extra money for you, okay? So like I said, to so you on the same website. So at that point, you can go ahead and browse the tutoring services. You can schedule services. You can get all your equipment as well. Now, a spokesperson for the Indiana Department of Education said that when families use the grants and their remaining funding drops below $200, they will automatically go ahead and reload that if they have any more grant funding available as well. So I'm telling you, now the state can support as well like day tutoring during the day. But I mean, this is an additional $1,000 third through eighth grade. This only helps your child. Why not apply for it? All right, next we are headed to Ohio where the Ohio After School Enrichment Education Savings Program, and that is a mouthful, is now open for the 2023-2024 school year. Now, awards for the ACE program do not automatically renew. So if you apply for it last year, I wanna say last year they gave out $1,500 as well you would need to apply for the program again this school year. So, I mean, some people are now about to have $3,000 in Ohio, guys, but the Ohio After School Child or ACE Educational Savings Account Program will provide qualifying families with a $1,000 credit per child. Now, this fund, once again, can be used to pay for a variety of educational activities, designed to help accelerate for children that have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, this ACE Education Savings Account Program is available to any child between the age of six and 18 years old who has not graduated from high school but meet at least one of the conditions below. So, of course, your child must be residing in a district that is identified as having like a high rate of absenteeism or one or more schools identified as the Ed Choice eligible qualify for ACE, qualify for the ACE educational savings account. They do have this list for the 2023-24 school year. It did change a little bit from last year, but children who also reside in adjusted gross income at or below 400% of the federal poverty level based on the household most recent 
federal income tax, you would qualify for it as well. Children who family participate in any Medicaid, SNAP, Ohio Work First program, um, WIC as well, you would qualify for the ACE educational account. So, I mean, this is another $1,000. Next, we are headed to Virginia, where parents can now register what is called for their micro grants. So, in Virginia, they have the K-12 Learning Acceleration Grant Program. This will provide $1,500 grants to parents of school-aged children for tutoring in English, mathematics, um, science, foreign language, as well as history needed to meet like diploma requirements. So families can also use these grants when it comes to reading intervention, um, speech pathology, but children have to be from homes where the family incomes are at 300% of the federal poverty level could qualify for now up to $3,000 grants as well. Now this grant program is open to parents of any public, private, um, charter, or even homeschool kindergarten through 12th grade student who lives in Virginia as well. So, I mean, this is another one to go ahead and apply for in New York as well. They do have the program that will be coming. Your governor, I think it's Kathy Hochul, she just signed for $50 million to be allotted to the schools in New York for mental health as well as um, it was the learning loss grant. So, the schools in New York had until August 18th to go apply for that funding. And then it's up to them to see how they're going to distribute that funding as well. But $50 million will be going for the schools. Now, I'm sure by them just having to apply a few days ago, it's probably going to be a program that won't be started until next year. But the program is coming as well next year. And yeah, this is what we have, guys. These are the pandemic learning loss grants. The main thing is that a lot of states have expanded their criteria when it comes to the funding and a lot of people are not applying for the funding. So if you have watched this video and you think it can benefit someone, share this video with other people as well as go ahead and apply for the funding yourself. Let me know what do you think about the education series? Has it been helpful? What are some other things that you would like to see me talk about on my channel? Guys, I love doing videos like this. So let me know all the things down below. Grab you some Amazon Prime free for 30 days. And um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.